Well, doesn't this look a lot different? Today I'm going to be talking about a microphone that I think deserves a lot more recognition in the streaming industry, and that is the Simple Shotgun Microphone. So let's go ahead and roll that new intro. Hey guys, what's up with Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So yes, that was an entirely new intro. We have got a new rebrand coming, a new logo. There's gonna be new animations on the Twitch stream, so make sure you jump over to catch the next Twitch stream and see our new animations over there. We've got a new intro, we've got new social media graphics, all kinds of things for the new rebrand and the new logo. And the new logo also opens up all kinds of possibilities, including merch, so I'm pretty excited for you guys to see everything that's coming with this new logo. But then also, with the rebrand, I wanted to give a little bit of a scenery change. As you'll see, we're not in the main part of my studio. My main studio room with the desk and the computer is right over there. And I've actually moved out into the main part of the basement. So as the channel begins to grow, I definitely want to move out from behind the desk and out of that room into the main part of the basement and kind of make this become the entirety of my YouTube studio. So if you guys want more live action content, more tutorials around cameras and audio and setting up shots like this, maybe how I set up the lighting for this shot, make sure you hit that like button and let me know down in the comments that you like these videos where we're not just behind the desk taking a look at something in some software. More hands-on on tutorials for maybe making some YouTube videos and shooting some videos for your channel as well. But for today's video, we're gonna be talking about microphones, more specifically, the shotgun mic. If you don't know what the shotgun microphone is, it is the typical microphone of the film industry. A lot of people refer to it as a boom mic, but it's actually a shotgun mic. And what it's built for is it's built as this long tube that can snipe sounds from really far away and can stay out of the frame. So in typical film fashion, you'll normally see it hung above the frame or below the frame, pointed at the actor's mouth, and it can pick up their dialogue without you seeing a mic in the shot. And for that reason, I think it'd be great for streaming as well. I'm gonna show you why I think this is a great streaming mic here in a minute, but we're gonna compare it as well to a typical Shure SM7B. This is one of the industry standards mics that you'll see gaming YouTubers and streamers using. It's the one that I use in all my videos and I'm going to show you why I think the shotgun mic could be a great rival to a typical mic like this. So you're typically looking at either a USB mic or an XLR mic or a condenser mic or a dynamic mic. Well my goal is to make your job even harder in picking a microphone by choosing one of these typical broadcasting mics or a shotgun mic. But we're going to move into the typical desk setup in there. I'm going to show you why this shotgun mic with all of its weird and awesome sniping characteristics might fit perfectly into your streaming setup if you have a certain style. So let's go ahead and get in there. All right guys, so here we are back at the desk setup. It feels good to be back in this room with the audio right here in front of my face. We've got the typical audio, the Shure SM7B, hooked up to my boom arm and just sitting here right in front of my face. But that could actually be the problem for some people. I've actually had people comment on my YouTube videos saying that although this is how streamers and YouTubers that sit in front of a computer typically get their audio, a microphone right here on an arm, they just didn't like the microphone being in my face. They thought it was weird just having this sitting here. It was specifically on the G4 Fuel versus Razer Respawn video where I was kind of moving around. They just didn't like the mic being there. So maybe you're the type of streamer or YouTuber that just doesn't want a mic on screen. You want it to look a lot cleaner. But if you try to take a microphone like the Shure SM7B and move it out of the frame, it's going to sound like this. So as you can see, even with it only about two feet away from my face and pointed directly at me, it sounds like the microphone is miles away. It sounds distant, it sounds echoey, it sounds muffled. It just does not sound good at all when you try to get a microphone like this outside of the frame because mics like this are meant to be directly in front of your face. As you can see, it sounds so much better when you have it right here, just inches away from your mouth. But if you do not want that, if you want that clean setup, that is where a shotgun mic is going to come into play. We're gonna take this shotgun mic, we're gonna hook it up to the arm, we're gonna move it out of the frame, and we're gonna see how great the audio can still sound if you don't want a mic on your screen. So let's go ahead and swap this out and uh, test it out. And now it is time for the shotgun microphone. As you can see, it is completely clean. There is still no microphone on the screen. And that is because it is just off screen, exactly where the Shure SM7B was, hooked up into the exact same setup. All that has changed is the microphone and my voice still sounds incredible. It's because shotgun mics were designed for this specific purpose. You get it far away, you point it directly at your mouth, and it still sounds 
really good. It sounds like the microphone is miles away. It sounds distant, it sounds echoey, it sounds muffled. It just does not sound good at all when you try to get a microphone like this outside of the frame. So if you like this look, if you like the ability to move your hands around, have no mic on the screen, see your uh, keyboard and your mouse while you're gaming, just perfectly, a really clean setup for streaming and YouTube, I highly recommend you look into shotgun mics over something like a broadcast mic that take up space in front of your face and kind of block your view of your keyboard and mouse. But there's one more plus I want to talk about when it comes to shotgun mics for streamers and gamers, and that is keyboard sounds. Every single streamer strives to knock out the keyboard sounds in their stream. They want to have the clickety clackety cherry MX reds and blues, but they don't want it to show up on stream because it annoys viewers like crazy. And if you're choosing a microphone like this, there are some better microphones to take out keyboard sounds, such as dynamic microphones usually do a better job of muffling the keyboard sounds versus condenser microphones. But a shotgun mic is specifically built to only record what you are pointed at. So it is going to muffle the keyboard sounds even more than a dynamic mic. The most popular dynamic mic for streaming is the Shure SM7B. This is a dynamic mic. So we're gonna run some keyboard tests. I'm gonna clickety clackety on the keyboard right here with the Shure SM7B. And then once again, we're gonna swap it out for the shotgun mic. We're gonna pop this guy directly on the arm and have it right here pointed at my mouth. Even though you're using a shotgun mic, you don't need to have it off the screen. You can have a shotgun mic be in front of you, in front of your mouth, just to get some really clean audio just like you were using a mic like this. Actually, I believe Jack Septicai either used to use a shotgun mic or even still does use a shotgun mic for his gaming videos, and that's one of the major reasons he does that is because it'll cut out on the keyboard sound. So if you're a hardcore gamer and you play a lot of stuff where you're mashing the keyboard, maybe look into shotgun mics like Jack Septicai did so that you don't hear the keyboards as much. So let's go ahead and slam on the keyboard with this microphone and then swap to this and see the difference. So this is the Shure SM7B with me typing on the keyboard right behind it as if I were gaming or typing or whatever. So now we've got the shotgun mic hooked up to the arm like we have the Shure SM7B. Still sounds fantastic. You don't need to have the shotgun really far away if you're using it. You can have it mounted here right in front of your mouth. It's still going to sound fantastic. All mics will sound really good when you put it this close to your mouth. But let's go ahead and type and mash on the keyboard as if we were gaming or typing and see how the shotgun mic does. So as you can see, a shotgun mic can be an incredible microphone to use for streaming and gaming. And before you think you're gonna be breaking the bank buying one of these, trust me, you can if you want. There are some expensive shotgun mics out there, but I'm gonna put some options down in the description that are still fantastic, that don't break the bank, and that are actually cheaper than the SM7B here. This shotgun mic that I use for all my videos out there when I'm not in front of the desk and that I used in this video, this is actually cheaper than this microphone right here. So if you guys wanna look into shotgun microphones, I highly recommend it. you do so. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a fantastic day, and consider a shotgun mic when you're upgrading microphones, even if you don't think the shotgun mic's right for you, and you like the style of having a big broadcast mic right in your face. That is fine, too. I just wanted to get this little guy on your radar, and maybe you can consider it when you're going to shoot your YouTube videos and want to have a mic off screen like I have it right now. But once again, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Don't forget to jump on over to the Twitch stream and check out the new graphics with the new logos whenever I stream next, but I will see you guys in the next video.